Is weighed on the scales of a triple beam. You don't come here much, and you better not wrong move. Hey! Ambulance cops, I gotta get more money than you got. So what if some other brother gets shot? That's how the game is played. Another brother say the wound is deep, but they giving us a band aid. My education's low, but I got long no space. I got pit bull, my heart pumps nitro. Sleep on silk, I like a politician. Both my best friend, cold as a magician. Lock me up, it's genocidal catastrophe. There'll be another one after me, a hustler. Hustler. All right, we're going video game hunting. Yeah, it's go me and my daughter. She doesn't want to be on camera, but she's with me in the passenger seat. About to do some serious video game hunting over here. We're over here on Bay Area. We're going to hit up. Um, we're gonna hit up game over video games. My man Hav says they got a two for one special. Buy two video games, get one free. So we're gonna see if we can hit up on some 3DO, Sega Saturn, Turbo Graphics, games like that. And uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. We might go over here and eat some Chipotle. No Sklotskis. Sklotskis? No, I'm not a big Sklotskis guy. No, they have good sandwiches. We might go over here and get some Chinese buffet. They got a bunch of sushi inside there. We always Come on, you know you love the Chinese buffet. We got to hit that up. Have to go That's our tradition. We always hit the Chinese buffet. Have to go different. All right, we're gonna go to Game Over Video Games, guys. I'm gonna pan the camera over here. There it is, right next to the a place that my daughter would love called Marble Slab Creamery. <gasps> And uh, let's go inside and find out uh, if they got something. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to work a deal here. I'm not going to spend a bunch of money and get robbed. So if I can work a good deal out for the two for one, then uh, we're going to do it. All right, let's see what we find. How's that one look? A dusty, but not bad. But you don't see that game in here a lot. The Warship Gunner? Yeah. Not in, yeah there's two of them. There's a naval one, mm -hmm. Warship Gunner 2, and then there's that one. I don't see that one ever. Pretty rare, obscure PS2 game in there. I'm excited. Now listen to my daughter uh, complain when we get in the car. Listen to this. About dang time. Huh? About dang time. What are you talking about? It took forever. What do you mean? I was just in there for like 10 minutes. You were in there for an hour. An hour? No, about 10 40 minutes. 40 minutes, not 10. Well, maybe 12 minutes. Making me go crazy. I know what time you went in there. It's been like 40 minutes. All right. Well, I apologize to make it up for you. I'll take you over to get some uh, Chinese buffet. No, no. I and then after that, up. maybe we'll uh, uh, get you an ice cream. BJ's is three minutes away. Let's go to BJ's. What is that place? I've never even heard of it. BJ's. It's a restaurant. And they have good sandwiches. And stuff. No, I eat. No, that's that's okay. What do you mean? It's like a restaurant at Bird House. Can you believe that I just picked up Warship Gunner Two? I already told you I didn't want to go to. Ugh. No, I'm serious. Can you believe that I just picked up this game? That? Warship Gunner 2. You haven't heard about it? No. How much is it worth? Nobody else has either. <laughs> it's so rare and obscure. Oh man. I just hit the mother load. And I got this game for free.
which I never see out in the wild. And this is one of my favorite baseball games of all time. Am I boring you? Yeah. Thought so. All right. Peace. Stop. I'm only one shine away. <laughs> I'm only one. Ah! Stop. Ow. Ah! 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 Stop. I'm Just only one. Way. Stop. Ah! 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 Hoo, 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 hoo. Yeah. The move, the move, the move. Ah, oh, I did multiple moves on you. I'm only one. I'm only Get one out. shot Get away. Out. Sing it to me every See the uh, PS1 games when you get a chance? Yeah. And then if you just move the games that are on top of the PS2, I'll be able to see all of them. It's like a couple of movies and uh, we play on top of all of them on the spines. There we go. Thank you, I appreciate it. Listen to a beeping noise. Jamming out to some beats. I don't know. He beeping. Yeah, he beeping all right. <laughs> I had him all the way from back there. <laughs> um, if you want to come back in, I'll take all this out and get the dolls. So don't Hold on. What does she need? Christopher, do you roll them with this? Do you play them or collect? Yeah, I play them. Collect. Yep. All right, guys, let's go into the Goodwill Select Store and Donation Center. I picked up a lot of games this week. Maybe we can go inside here, pick up some stuff to flip to pay for those games. How about that? Let's do this like a Buddhist.
a uh, it was a blender. And then a month later, the place burnt to the ground. The part of Goodwill that burnt was all the donated good side of our business. All right, what's up everybody? It's Saturday. As you can see, I got the Astros gear on. Check out the patch right there. We're gonna win the pennant this year, I'm calling it. Um, this is upload night, and over here, we're gonna go inside this Goodwill, see if we can find something good. Let's go inside, see if we can find some rarefied gems inside there. So you get, uh, off of that today. Oh yeah? Oh, if I'm fifty? Oh no! <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I wish I was today. I'm gonna go out in the parking lot and find an old person. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're all, they're all scattered in there. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, pick me up another PS3. Feel like I got a really good price on it. Uh, one of the slim models, one of the newer models. So now I have two of these models and then I have one of the old school models that, the old school models are prone to breaking. Not the one with the, uh, well I pr probably both of them are, the one with the four USB ports that you can play backwards compatible games on. I got the other one with the two USB ports. Both of them are prone to breaking. Uh, this one right here is the model that you probably want to get nowadays. So yes. That is it. It's been a long two weeks. Picked right, up let's check out this Alamo looking Salvation Army. Every once in a while they have something inside of here. All right, guys, so I picked up a great deal on some Logitech uh, speakers, a speaker set for $9.99, which is, probably goes for around 70 bucks generally with ship if you want to order it off of eBay or maybe even a little bit more. And then I got a uh, stereo amplifier for $24.99, paid a, probably a little, few more dollars than I wanted to, but anytime I find like a really nice $20 amplifier, it's not a bad deal. All right, guys, let me show you the first thing here that's uh, non-video game related, uh, but obviously it could be video game related if we're uh, playing some video games and listening to it. Uh, first of all, we're checking out CVC, Slow CVC, my boy's uh, recent video here. 
just having problems with the volume. I just can't hear it good enough. I don't think you guys can hear it. Let me try something here. Plug this in. There we go. Now we can't hear it at all. How do you like that? And then check out what I picked up here. So got this at a Salvation Army today. And when I, it was funny because when I brought it up to the counter, the lady looked at it and said, $9.99. All this stuff in the in the box for $9.99? Kind of like she was making the assumption that I stuffed a bunch of shit in the box. So I thought that was kind of hilarious. I told her, I said, yeah, I mean, I found it in the box. What do you want me to do? So we have a Logitech system here. This is the X-540. Uh, I think it's a 5.1 surround sound system. It comes with five speakers. So $9.99 on that was pretty awesome. But back to the video, man. I can't hear it. Go ahead and turn this baby on. Oh, there we go. I forgot to do that one. There you go. All right, CBC, you need to talk, man. You're making me look bad. Now. There we go. All right. Talk. Same Eco Thrift Story Sound video with the link. Found it Nintendo 64. So yeah, very cool. It does not have the expansion um, pack. Just so basically now I have a setup in my bedroom. I got a table set up with my Elgato system. Uh, I got my computer there. And then I have my Aqua TV. And uh, that's where I'm doing all my uh, 3DO type videos and you know whatever kind of Let's Plays I'm going to do in the future. So this is going to get hooked up to that PC system. And uh, yeah, so a pretty cool pickup there. All right, guys, I'm going to clean all this stuff up. And uh, we're going to show you what I picked up next, non-video game related. But I did find another PlayStation 2 Slim. This one, as always, they work just fine. Alright guys, so right here we have the Logitech Harmony 650 Universal Remote. I already took the sticker off for that. It was $4.99. Picked that up at Goodwill as well. Um, these go for, I can probably get about $30 to $40 online for this so this is gonna be a nice little recouper there I don't know why they had the piece of tape on there kinda of like they were holding it together maybe they thought someone would try to open it up but uh... because at first with that tape across the middle of it I thought it wasn't factory sealed but it was alright now this is really cool vintage clock here paid fourteen ninety nine for that it's a uh, Numicron tie meter clock and it has like the hours and the minutes are made at they're kinda of like dice well, you know that that spin. So if you want to look this up, 851. Just put Numicron Time Meter 851 in there, uh, in eBay search, and you'll you'll be able to find it. And you'll see that these go between 50 and 100 bucks. So definitely going to be able to make some money off of that. And then probably my best find of the week or the last couple of weeks. This would be the sick pick of the week, but I don't want to go the uh, thousand count sheets trend anymore. Um, but yeah, so Yamaha Natural Sound RF Demodulator APD-1. Now this thing is kind of rare, uh, not easy to find these. There's like probably, I think there's like five. There, the other day there was only like three, now there's like five or six on eBay. But uh, what this is right here is, this is, um, it converts laser disc. If anybody has a laser disc out there, it converts laser disc with AC3 digital audio output to coaxial or optical digital output. In layman terms, it makes your digital, your laser disc player sound great. So really cool. For $2.99, guys, this goes for between $100 and $200 online. Look it up. I tell no lies. All right, guys, so that's it for this portion of the video. Let's get to the games and what we got. All right, console. sorry about that, guys. Just one more thing here. In my garage, I had that Sherwood amplifier and it just was not doing the job. So I picked me up a really nice Sony amplifier. Paid $24, you're not gonna be able to see it. Yeah, $24.99 for this. Um, so this I'll be hooking this up to my Techniques Direct Drive uh, SL6 and my uh, JVC CD burner. Well, it's already hooked to that. So uh, yeah, for $24.99, man, a beast like this. This is a really good amplifier. Uh, it's definitely going to do the trick for the sound inside the garage. All right, let's get to the games. All right, guys, let's get to the game pickups, which you've came here to enjoy. 
Uh, we got a lot of stuff right here, so we're gonna get right at it. Up here, if you guys have not seen my tight package video, my latest tight package video, there's three rare jewel case games up here. Magic Carpet, Slam and Jam, and Builder's Block. Very nice condition. The manual's got some small issues, I think, on Slam and Jam, but other than that, very sweet pickups there. All right, let's just start off with the PlayStation 3. We got some Scarface playing in the background. Picked this up today for $44.99. I think that was a good deal. Uh, did come with the power cable. Now I have, now I have three PS3s. I am gonna sell this one. Um, let's take that sticker off there. And um, it did not come with a game, unfortunately. It did come with a movie that my daughter probably likes, Pitch Perfect 2. So I'll go ahead and give that to her. Um, this is obviously the Slim PS3, the latest model I think that came out. So very good, I already tested it, it does work. Um, but what I, what I was trying to tell you guys is I have I think six PS3 controllers. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a PS3 controller with this, an HDMI cable, and I'm gonna throw in probably four or five PS3 games and I'll be able to make 100 to $150 off of this, no problem as long as the PS3 titles are good. So, uh, yeah. And if I don't, then I'll sell it for 100, I'll double my profit, so good pick up there. Let's go ahead and put this in the back. And let's get to the games. So, let's go to, uh, so my man Hav told me about, like I mentioned in the video about Game Over Video Games, they were having buy two, get one free, now, I probably paid a little too much for this game, but it's something I've never seen before, so I was super excited about getting it. And I got two other games, and obviously one game free, and that is Warship Gunner 2, guys. Never, ever seen this game out in the wild. $34.99 on it. It's a Koei title. And if I remember correctly, it's like a third-person ship fighter, man. It's pretty unique. It's complete, it's mini Mac. Um, actually looking forward to testing this out. Maybe I'll do a, uh, a tight play of this video. So Warship Gunner 2, they have another one. I think it's called Naval Ops Warship Gunner 1. That's more common. This one right here is super hard to find. Uh, there's a few on eBay right now. And uh, yeah, man, really happy about adding this to the collection. Again, I paid a little bit too much for it. I usually don't spend that much money on a game, uh, an old school PS2 game, but I figured, you know what? I never see this out in the wild and I'm gonna get a game free off of that, so I decided to pick it up. Now, this is my, one of my favorite baseball games as a kid. I will buy any complete in box condition game with the manual and the whole nine yards for $9.99, guys, if it's something that I grew up with. Not every game, but games that I grew up with that I really love, under $10, I am all the way in. So yeah, base is loaded. I was talking about doing maybe an RBI baseball challenge on my, uh, on my channel. I might just do a bases loaded challenge. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. We'll get NES Attic and people like that involved and uh, do a little cool challenge that you really don't see very often on YouTube, just a basic like baseball challenge. So I'm looking forward to that. All right, now the game that I got free, and you guys are gonna love the description of this. Hopefully it's close to as good, which I'm not sure is the case. I did watch one review on it and, and the guy liked it. So we have Engine Racing, another super obscure PS1 game that I never see. Uh, $9.99, but obviously I got that free. That was my freebie game. Engine racing, it's complete. It's in great shape. Now, my description of this game is Gran Turismo with planes, guys. How can you not want to play this game? Gran Turismo with planes. It is fucking on to the break of dawn. I'm gonna try this game out. This is definitely something that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the Elgato and put some kind of let's play video out. It's coming very soon, so be looking out for that, guys. All right, now let's get to all the good. Everything else here is gonna be Goodwill pickups. First pickup here, three dollars and ninety-nine cents. MX at, uh, versus ATV Live. It's complete. 
And then a game that's really dramatically went down in price. I remember when this game was 40 bucks, $45. Star Wars Battlefront 2. It's missing the manual, but it has the game in there. I think the game has some scratches, but it's not too bad. It goes for about 20 bucks now. $4.99 on that. I think with the manual it goes for $24.25. And then we have Terminator Salvation, which I'm not sure if it's a good game or not. $4.99 on that as well. And something I forgot to mention to you guys, you're gonna see a lot of the a lot of the games that I picked up, you're not gonna see because I sent it to a buddy of mine that, that um, I'm not gonna go into the details of it, but a buddy of mine that needed to rebuild his collection. So you're not gonna see a lot of games here. And also what I would like to mention is a lot of the stuff you're gonna see, although I have not gotten the details down completely, is gonna be a part of my 5,000 subscriber contest. So some of the games you saw me hunt down this week that I'm showing you right now are going in a big box and gonna get sent to one winner from the United States. At the end of this video, I'm gonna put a box. Click on that box and go to that 5,000 subscriber contest and you'll get all the details. All right, let's go over this stack right here. So we have another Star Wars Battlefront 2. This one's complete. Pick that up for $2.99. And then we have a game that I'm not sure if I have in my collection or not. If I don't, this is going in the uh, 5K contest. Turok Evolution. Look at that dinosaur, man. Arr. Brush your teeth, bro. Complete minty mac shape. I mean, that's definitely some contest uh, goodies right there. And is this a lot? I'm trying to remember if this is a... Uh, doesn't say. I guess it's not. I thought at first I thought this was a light gun game. All right, now next up is all these games I have in my collection. These will all be part of the 5,000 subscriber contest, and I will make a separate video to let you guys know what's all involved. But this is in it. Time splitters on the uh, PlayStation 2. Complete. Very nice shape. Two dollars and ninety-nine cents on that as well. And then, if I can get this tape off of here. And then the last pickup from that Goodwill was Time Splitters 2. This light is causing all kinds of issues. I'll back that up a little bit. Or maybe put it forward a little bit. So Time Splitters 2, this is also going into the, uh, the subscriber contest. Comes with a memory card as well, which is really cool. So that was definitely worth uh, two dollars and ninety nine cents. So over here, all right, where are we at? And then we have Minecraft for the Xbox three hundred and sixty. Not sure. I might throw that in the contest as well. And then where else? Grab these right here. So these are all. Uh, these are all from the same Goodwill. This is a game that I hardly ever see out in the wild, so I was grab, uh, glad to pick it up. Chinchu 2. Now this game is effed, man. They put it in a skip doctor, so I'm hoping it works. It's got stickers all over it. This is uh, one of those ones I almost passed up on. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it was definitely a skip skip doctor job. Not a, But remember, I do have the RFJ Easy Pro, so I can throw it in there and clean it up. So hopefully I'll be able to make it look good. But yeah, not, not the best condition one i have tenchu one it's a really good game so and i think i heard good things about this as well and then the other two ps1 games from that same goodwill uh this is probably going in the 5k contest because i have this i believe tomb raider the revelation or the last revelation and then we have army men air attack I don't think I have that in my PS1 collection, so I added that to the collection. All right, what else do we have here? All right, let's go ahead and go over this stack right here. The first game here is Enchanted Arms on the Xbox 360. It does come with the graphic novel. It's complete in very nice shape. The cardboard box is not in the best of condition, but the game inside of it and the manual, the big book is in real nice condition, so that was cool. Uh, pick this up for 
Oh, or surprise set. Well, there it is. Pick that up for two dollars and ninety-nine cents. And then the next game is a game that I do not have in my Xbox collection, which is the only on Xbox title, uh, Tao Fing, Fist of the Lotus. So I was real happy about grabbing that. It's complete. All right, next up here is Dragon Ball Z Budokai on the PlayStation 2. Grab that for $2.99. Games were just raining at Goodwill this week, guys. It was no problem picking up all this stuff. It was it was easy. It was a cakewalk. We have Hulk on the Xbox. I'll probably throw that in the contest as well. It's got everything there. So that's a real good pickup. This one I might keep for myself if I don't have it. If I do have this, I'm throwing it in the contest. Inuyasha, Feudal Combat. It's very cool. Complete Mini Mac. I mean, good what the Goodwills in my area went from not like completely sending their shit online to just blowing up. Final Fantasy X2, most likely this is going into the contest. I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna send a big box of some good quality games. I'm not effing around on this 5K contest. This is a game that I might have, so that might go in the contest. Fireblade. All these games are two dollars and ninety-nine cents. Complete. And then we have, uh, I actually took this off a of Halo, so it doesn't go with that, but, I'm, but I guarantee you I probably have a Halo 2 that needs that, so I'll go ahead and keep that for my collection. We have Nightcaster, which I'm definite I already have. This is going into the contest. Complete. And then this is something, I mean, I'm not sure on all this stuff, but I, I think I have this, Dy Dynasty Warriors 4. So that might go in the contest as well. And then the last from that Goodwill was Prince of Persia, Warrior Within, complete. That's definitely going to the contest. Probably gonna throw a handheld con console also, maybe like a uh, uh, advanced SP or something like that. All right, um, let's get to the last stack here. We have Extreme G Racing. Apparently it's this place called Gameplay, which I've never heard of, must have donated or went out of business or something because all these games that I'm about to show you are from that Gameplay place. I already have this, so probably gonna go in the contest. Start Skin Hutch. I hardly ever see this game out in the wild, so I was happy about picking that up. $2.99 on all the games you're about to see. Didn't they, I think they made a movie with Snoop Dogg or something. Oh, it looks like the clip's broken on that. That's why it fell out. But that's complete. I'm probably going to keep that because I don't have that in my collection. And this is something really cool. I know some people would be like, oh, that's nothing. I always wanted to pick this up. I passed it up at a Goodwill one time because they were selling it for like $7.99 or something like that. And I don't know. I just really like the red case. You guys have heard me say this before. This is probably my favorite racing game of all time. But this is that red version and everything looks different. The case looks different, and look how badass that red game looks. So this is the uh, not for resale Gran Turismo 3 A-Spec. I like how that red looks with that black label. I mean, that's just sweet looking. So very excited about picking that one up. Uh, this is going to my collection, guys. Sorry, I'm keeping that one. And then the next game is Suzuki was it TT Superbikes Real Road Racing Championship? That's complete. I might keep that for the collection. I don't, I don't think I have it. And then a game that I don't see a lot of Haven Call of the King. Complete. And again, some of these games I sent to a friend, all the doubles of these games. This is something that Dan from the Rebel Gaming Club, uh, the first video. I did a video with him, what the hell is the segment called, Games You Ain't Got, Mother Effer, and the game that he called me out about was Hard Hitter Tennis. I don't even know if I told him, but I went out to a uh, retro video game store and I found it loose disc, and I did this little segment where I acted like it was in some Goodwill case. 
But now I have it loose, but I also have it complete finally. So I found it Atlas title. So that's pretty cool. $2.99. All right, two more games, guys, and we're out. Next game here is X Games Winter Snowboarding. Something I don't think I have in the collection. That's complete as well. I like how that disc looks. And then the last of the games is Aragon. Something I don't have in my collection. That's, so that's getting added to the collection. Alright guys, so at the end of this video, you're going to see four boxes. Slow CVC, my boy. The box to his last video. Click on that to go check out his channel. Uh, subscribe to his channel, please. And uh, you're going to see a box for the shooter competition that's still going on. One of those boxes is going to be CM Retro's latest video. And the other box is going to be Blast Mode 7's la latest video. And I'm probably going to do my video next week for the shooter competition. It is not over with. We do have an announcement to make. Longshot is out of the tournament. He is uh, not DOA, but uh, MIA. We don't know where he's at, so it's only going to be three of us now. It is what it is. And the last box you're going to see at the end of this video to click on, the most important box, is my 5,000K subscriber contest. Click on that box, guys, and you're going to get to be a part of, if you, if you were subscribed pre-video, because it has to be before that video launched, then you're going to be part of a big box of games, uh, a drawing where you can win a bunch of games. So uh, definitely check that out. Thanks for watching the video as I shut the lights off. And we're going to end you with a little bit of Scarface right here with my new Sony amplifier. Let us pray. Yeah.